we'll talk about your MJ story here in a quick second, though. But uh, your basketball career, of course, came to an end. It, unfortunately, it was prematurely, as everyone was really hoping this team might be able to make a run in the postseason. But for for uh, LSU fans that are interested, man, let us know what uh, what's what's next for you. Is basketball in your future, or is it what's next in life? Uh, next, I, I don't think basketball is in my future. I'm not going to try and go overseas or anything like that and on some professional level. But uh, settle down, find my career, uh, come back to my hometown. That's where I'm at right now, Punch Tula with my wife, and uh, get to the real world. I hear you, man. Dude, was it at all uh, – how different was it being a married guy on a college basketball team? Um, it, I mean, it's obviously different just because it's not the norm. But uh, my teammates, you know, we all kind of – we were close. We were all like family every year, and specifically this team. You know, they, they called their sister and everything like that. So, I mean, it was pretty cool. It was like a fun thing. Yeah. Marshall Graves is our guest. We'll talk about – some LSU hoops in a bit, you know, talk about the season, what's next and all that stuff. Uh, I want to talk though about this, this Michael Jordan story. So I, I had the story told to me, but I've not heard it your firsthand account of it. So just take it away and I'll, I'll probably interrupt to get some details, but set the scene for us and how all this transpired. Gotcha. So uh, it was last May, uh, May 11th 20, of 2019. So uh, we, I had just graduated, well, just finished my junior year up and uh, went on vacation with my grandfather as a fishing tournament. And where we were at, they had kind of like a basketball court set up and people were working. And the, I, I immediately found my way to the basketball court. So uh, just was playing around and this guy came up and he was shooting shooting with me. And he, he turned out he worked uh, worked with Michael Jordan's kids. Mm-hmm. Did you, and, uh, did you know he, that at the time or no? No, I okay. didn't know that at the time. So we were just kind of playing basketball, and he actually he played for the the Bohemian national team. Okay. That's, that's, uh, in, that's in the Bahamas. Right. Okay. And uh, so we were, we were playing, and then he, he starts telling me uh, that he takes care of MJ's kids and stuff, and he wanted to set up a game. And the next, next thing you know, I mean – I see Michael Jordan pull up on a golf cart with a cigar in his mouth, and he 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 tells the pass the ball, and I I mean I was completely completely shocked. All right, uh, hang on, hang on. So it's just, so it's a full length court. Right? Yeah. All right. Court. It's just you and this other guy just shooting. Mm-hmm. All right. So MJ rides up on a golf cart. How's he? Is he in basketball attire? or Is he in golf attire? So he's got a blue Jordan long sleeve on, black kind of fleece shorts. Okay. And then he's got the low top, the low top ones, but they're all white. Yeah. <laughs> Is he wearing a beret? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> no hat. No hat. No sunglasses. Hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot what kind, of, what kind of sunglasses they were, but it's all good. I remember, I remember looking them up, and they were like five thousand dollars or something <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, you know, uh, why, why wouldn't they be? And so, and and yeah. and, and, he's, and he's got a cigar. Yep, got a cigar driving a golf cart. So he just walks up and he goes, "Pass me the ball." Yep, he pulls up. Uh, his, his golf cart's playing music. He's got his wife and uh, his kids. They're they're in another golf cart, and they then they kind of come up to the court. So it's just you know his family and then me and uh, the guy. And it was, I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know what to do. I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get into what transpired in the game, did. So you're you're 22 years old? Correct. Yeah, just turned 22 right, so on the 20th. Well, belated happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> so you're 22 at the time. So at the time you're 21 years old. Like, right. what's your awareness of Michael Jordan as a 21-year-old? You obviously didn't see him play. So what, what's your awareness of him? So my, my awareness is probably as keen as anyone who grew up watching him during his prime because uh, – I mean, I've I've always kicked myself for not telling him this because I was so stunned in the moment. But like my parents, na- like my middle name is Jordan. So <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So I I mean I grew up. My parents are like like the Last Dance previewing. Like it's nobody makes a sound in the house. Everybody pay attention. It's a family <laughs> event. Like it's mandatory. It's not. <laughs> That's so good. Wait. So, so we are, 
was Jordan fanatic. Were your parents there as well? Like not while, while no, you're playing, but were they on the trip? No, my parents weren't on the trip. It was just me and my uh, grandfather. H- have your parents ever met Jordan? No. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, Marshall Graves, our guest, former LSU basketball player, last summer in the Bahamas with his grandfather, who's on a fishing trip. Marshall's playing hoops. Golf cart pulls up. It's Michael Jordan. All right. So he says, "Pass me the ball." Now, pick it up. What did y'all play? All right. So he we start shooting around, and I mean, I can't do anything but look at him for for a good <laughs> five minutes. But and then he uh we he says, "Let's play King of the Court." So it's just me, uh, the guy I met that I was shooting with at first, and and him. And he says, let's play king of the court. So basically how it goes is one person starts on offense, one person's on defense, and then there's one person waiting on the side. And if you get a stop, you go to offense. And if if you're on offense and you miss, you go off, and the next person comes on. You just keep rotating. Uh Every point is a score. And uh, that's – we started the game up in this – that's how it got started. He like he introduced it to us. Were you wearing LSU basketball gear? Of course you were, right? Like, <laughs> so I, I was playing in uh since I was just kind of walking around. I I didn't have like I had like running shoes on, and I I mean like for the five minutes I said wait a minute I have to go I went to uh luckily I had my bag on me and I pulled out I had my Jordan Concord Eleven, the low tops. So, uh, you pulled I, out I, his I, shoes. I mean, I hurried. I hurried up as fast as I could. I put those on. I had Jord- I had purple Jordan shorts on, and then uh, an LSU basketball top. So does he say, "Hey, you play for LSU"? Yeah. And uh, we. I, I talked to him like after the five minutes of me like staring at him shooting the ball. <laughs> I, I, finally up and, I finally go up and talk to him, and I, I tell him I play for LSU and. He was like, oh, okay, yeah. He, he knew how uh, our season had went. You know, we had we had the Sweet Sixteen run that year. So, right. Uh, you know, he was just kind of he was just kind of saying like, oh, that's good. Um, just like normal normal conversation. And then then he started. That's when we kind of got to the let's play Kings of the Court thing. Who won? I won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How did it go down? What was the like? Did you get stops on him? Yeah. So uh, I've actually I've got like video of me. Uh, me playing against him, but it got off like he's. I mean, at this, uh, he's. I forget how old he is, but I mean, obviously, he's up there, not in his prime for sure. But he, he was killing us. I mean, he would, he would, uh, and you could everything on the last dance. I could just from meeting him for that that time is absolutely true. He's like supreme confidence. You feel like you're playing somebody from another planet. He doesn't feel real. All of it. Like <laughs> he's 57, by the way. Yeah, and I mean he 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 would he would back you down, and he he tell us every time we guard him, he say which way do you want me to fade? He said I'll go left or right, whichever way you want, and you won't be like, and there's nothing you could do. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> and he hit it every time. I mean, I mean, dang near every time. <laughs> so how did you beat him? Give me the highlight. Like what what happened well, that you were able was, to beat him? It was five to nine, and uh, I had five. The Bohemian National uh, guy had four, and he had nine. So he, I mean, he was he was killing us, and he said we're going to twelve. And so I start making it like I just I got hot. Like he he start, he guard me, and I I hit a three. Then the other kid came and guard me, and I hit like a little mid range jumper, hit another three, huh? and then finally it, it, it's nine to nine. And he, you know, Jordan's starting to get serious now. All, <laughs> all, all, all that stuff. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, he ends up he ends up hitting a fadeaway on me. That he told me, and he said, "I'm." He said, "I'm going to go left." He, he said, "Watch this. I'm going to go left." And hits a fadeaway right on me. So that's ten. And then he and then he hits a fadeaway right on the next guy. <laughs> and uh, so it's it's eleven to nine. And he he tells me he tells me he said he said I don't have to tell you this, but I'm a game winner. But <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I said I said my name I said my name's not Byron Russell. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> He said, "He said I don't care what your name is." He said, "You know my name." <laughs> That's, you're you're wearing my shoes. <laughs> That's exactly what he said to me. That's exactly. What he, said. he said, "You know my name." He said, "He said some nice shoes you got on there. You right. wear my shoes." Right, right. <laughs> but um, and then it, I've got this is where I've got the video, and he says he takes the fadeaway. He tells me he's gonna go uh, 
he's going to spin over his left shoulder, and he, he takes the fadeaway, and he says, I'm a game winner as it goes up, and it misses, though. Oh. And I, I mean, I've never felt so more relieved. I wanted to win so bad. <laughs> so you get – wait, so so he misses, so it's 11-9. You get the ball, and now you're going against the Bohemian guy? Right. You score? I score. 11-10. Then MJ comes on, you score on him? Yep, I hit uh, – so he – I mean, he was talking to us the entire game. Like, for me – he was like, I'm going to make you put it on the floor because I'm a shooter. He said, he said, oh, no, no, you're not getting it that easy. So he he did, he gets up into me when it's 11-10. So I have to – I put it on the floor. I go left, and I do a step back, and I hit the three. Oh, nice. And so it's 11-11. You, wait, so you hit a step back three on – well, on 57-year-old, but on 57-year-old MJ. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome, man. So, so then the other guy comes back on, you hit? Yeah, this is the thing though. Like the other guy uh, comes back on, and I miss. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, so now the Bohemian guys are offense, and I I can't remember if he made it or not. But eventually he misses, and Jordan goes on uh Jordan goes on offense again, but I get another stop. He just misses the fadeaway. Uh -huh. Like he just. And I, I'm, I mean, he's drenched in sweat at this point too. I, I mean, I can't imagine he's played that hard in a while. He doesn't. I mean, especially during his vacation. <laughs> right. So I mean, he is drenched in sweat, and uh, so it's me versus him now for the game. And he does the same exact thing. He tells me, he said, "No, you got to put it on the floor." So I, I dribble to my left. I'm on the left wing, at the three point line, and uh, I just kind of hesitate and I pull up. I didn't. He, he's so good at angles. He, he he wouldn't let me drive anywhere. As, like mm. as crazy as it sounds, but he's 57 years old. It's it's harder to drive on him. Than, yeah, bro, <laughs> he's the greatest just, player in the history of the game. <laughs> I, got, he, I, I mean, he lets you know it too. Yeah. He lets you know. <laughs> All right, so you pull up, you pull up from three and hit. And I hit the shot. So I hit the shot. So what does he do? Uh, he, he actually tells me. He he says big shot kid, and he he shakes my hand and daps me up. And I mean, I was like, I'm I, at this point, I'm I'm like about to pass out, like it's like it's a movie or something. But <laughs> right, that's incredible. He big shot. Then he then he starts like he starts talking to me just about the game, and he he was telling me about my game, and he was like this. Uh, he wanted me to like you utilize my pump fake more. Uh, off the hesitation, he was saying get fouled. He said, I know you can shoot free throws. You're a good shooter. I mean, he's just explaining the game to me, and I'm, I mean, I'm obviously just, I'm soaking it all in. Yeah. Just the fact that he's speaking to me is crazy. Marshall Graves, our guest, a couple more minutes. Hey, real quick, so uh, who took the video? You said you have video. Who who was taking the video? Uh, my grandfather. So oh, so he, they, he comes up? Yeah, I text right before we started playing. I was like, Michael Jordan's here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, like, they're sprinting. I mean, they're sprinting. They, they come to the court and uh they start videoing and then by that time we have like a, a huge crowd of, whoa like, wait wait you got a whole crowd of people watching this how many people yeah like towards the end towards the end people people started coming and actually we took a picture like six of the people who also on the tournament were from louisiana oh and nice they, <laughs> yeah like they knew i was an lsu basketball player and we all took a picture so it was i mean it turned into something crazy so but, <laughs> you hit the game winner on mj does the whole place like oh like do they go nuts? Yeah. <laughs> basically, basically. <laughs> so good. And I can't even like it's it's crazy because I can't even remember it because all I'm listening to is MJ saying big shot and he's dapping me up and he I'm that's all I can think about. Like, all... like did you did you get anything? Did did it give you like I don't know his sweaty shirt or something? <laughs> no, no, I didn't get anything. I I put the uh I put the shoes. I've got the picture and then I put the shoes and the clothes I wore in a Ziploc bag. Ne haven't been washed anything like that. <laughs> so <laughs> disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in a poster board. <laughs> Bro, like you gotta wash that stuff. That's disgusting, man. Like you can't <laughs> let it fester for all time. I was like, nope. I'm I'm putting these clothes in a ziploc. I put them in when I got back here. They haven't haven't left the ziploc. You got, <laughs> bro. Do you realize what's gonna happen when you open that bag eventually? No idea. <laughs> yeah. Do it out. Just do it outside. Because if you do that in your house, there's going to be a stench. And if, if your wife is like mine, if you do that in the house, she is going to be pissed at you forever. <laughs> yeah. Like that's one that you never, you never outlive that man. Nope. 
Oh, dude, what a great story, man. I'm so, dude, I'm so pumped that you came on and told that story. Marshall Graves, our guest, former LSU basketball player, got to play some one-on-one -on -one against Jordan in the Bahamas last summer. What a story. So, all right, so before you go, give me a thought like you're watching the documentary now, having had that experience. So you got a little bit of a different prison that you're looking through, having had that experience with him. What's it like for you watching that documentary now? Just watching it like – um when he talks about like just his competitiveness, like and how we see like the documentary talks about how everyone sees him as like Larry Bird saying that's God in a Michael in a Michael uh, Jordan uniform, like yeah. I mean, yeah, like meeting him and like playing against him, especially like how crazy we were and how much you see growing up about Michael Jordan. I like it's just the fact like everything is so true, like none of it's off. Like he's that competitive. He talks trash the entire game. Like he's. <laughs> It's just like in another level because I think about it and it's like, yep, he's he's that dude for sure. That's so Everything good. Except, none of it's an exaggeration. Are you, are you ever going to post that video? I don't even have any social media. Like, ah, yeah, I'll post it for you. <laughs> yeah, like my, 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 uh, some of my family members did post it and stuff to my teammates and uh, they were all going crazy. That's how most people kind of knew about it. But I like, I don't even have any social media. I'm the type of person. I just, I never showed the world. I would have just like, all I care about, I told my wife, I told my family. And, you know, we, to me, that was it. Like yeah. I wasn't even thinking about anything else. <laughs> yeah. I got you, man. It's it respect, man. What a great story. I appreciate you for spending some time, man. I know we went late and we got to jump, but man, we'll have you back if you're cool. And uh, we'll have you back. We'll talk about, I don't know how the season went this past year. We'll look forward to, to next year with the guys that are coming back if you're up for it. For sure. Cool. Mar Marshall Graves, man, been a pleasure. Thanks for having some fun with us today, man. All the best to you and yours. No problem. Thank you.